We thought it was swept under the rug. We thought it was swept under the carpet. But FIFA 22 is back one more time. Welcome back, guys. The Son of Scotland 90. It's the FIFA 22 Heart Cream Mode. It's episode 84. And it is going to be the finale. You're probably thinking, why the fuck is FIFA 22 back when FIFA 23 is already out? Well, you know what? I thought FIFA 22 could have one last run. If Ric Flair can come back at 73 years old, then I'm pretty sure FIFA 22, being about a day and a half old, can come back for one last go. But the main reason I'm doing it is because I want it to end the actual season. I want to get a bit of closure. I want to see where we finish, have a look at some of the stats. So that's pretty much the only reason why we're doing this. If you haven't seen my FIFA 23 Hearts career mode, you can check out. We're two episodes in. Episode 3 will be getting uploaded later today. We've not got off to a great start. We've got one win out of four. I mean, it's it's not horrific. We've actually played okay in some of the games. Apart from the one game, all right, I'm not going to spoil everything, but there was one game where we absolutely got slaughtered. Apart from that, we've actually been no bad. So make sure you check that out on the channel. Like I said, episode 3 will be later on tonight. But this is all about finishing off. FIFA 22, finishing off the Hearts Cream Mode. We did get into Season 4, we just signed Yumi Suzuki, but I, I don't think he's going to have enough time to make an impact in the squad. I'm not going to be playing any games here. We're pretty much just going to simulate it to the end, look at where we finish, look at the stats, look at like the overall statistics of the career, and then we're going to call it a day. It's a bit cheap. I don't like simulating games. I never simulate games. I play every single game, but let's be real, guys. There's 11 games left. I, I'm just not going to play... 11 games of FIFA 22 when FIFA 23 is out. So I hope you can understand that. I think it makes perfect sense. And I could have just left it like this, but I thought at least simulating it to the end of the season, to me it seemed better than nothing. So that's what we're going to do. We did have Celtic up next. I was looking forward to playing that. But the whole thing with FIFA, it kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't sure this year when FIFA was coming out. Normally, you can get it 10 days early, then they changed it, then I didn't think we were getting it to like three days early, but then... Oh, New Zealand apparently is 12, 13 hours ahead of us. It was all just confusing. So, yeah, that that is kind of why I've been a wee bit shafted in terms of not being able to end this when I wanted to. But, well, we'll simulate to the end of the month. We are trying to catch Aberdeen. They are eight points ahead of us. I would assume to catch them, we'd need to win a lot of our games. And we just picked up a big win over Celtic, 1-0, followed by a 3-0 against Ross County. Holy shit, man, we are on fire here. <laughs> I should have simulated this season a lot earlier. <laughs> Maybe we would have won the league. Look at that, three wins in a row. Holy, plus I won the St Mirren game before the Celtic. So there you go, we've won four in a row. The Hearts are back, the Jambles are back. The Hearts are coming. And uh, I don't know if Dundee can see them, but they've been scalped by them either way. So, I mean, tell you what, if Hearts had a march, like this march, every single march, or even every single month or whatever then they would be unstoppable at the top of the league. Five games played, five games won. You can't ask for much more than that. Surely we'll have closed the gap to Aberdeen. And we have, but only by five points. So Aberdeen must have been pretty impressive as well. They must be doing okay for themselves. We're now ten points ahead of Hibernian though. So I would think it's safe to say we will not finish any lower than fourth. But that's not what we're aiming for, guys. We are aiming for third so let's see if we can bring that five point gap down in the remaining seven games two more games before the split and then of course we have the top six where the top six teams play each other obviously you're playing harder games so it is harder to catch teams but it's also easier in a way because you'd expect Aberdeen to drop more points than they normally would because they'll be playing against you know the top six teams in the league so We'll skip past this to the St. Johnston game. We've got Rangers and St. Johnston, the last two games of the normal calendar season. Hopefully we can pick up two wins here. Can we beat Rangers? A draw, 2-2. Two -two. I'll take that. It's not bad at all. We will take that. Need to get a win against St. Johnston, though. In Perth, we did 3-0. I mean, absolutely smashed them. And uh, let's have a look then where that leaves us now. We have... Oh, man, Aberdeen were pretty solid there. Aberdeen won both their games, so we've actually dropped points there. We're seven points behind Aberdeen with a 15 available. You know what? I don't think we're going to do it. I don't think we're going to do it, but we'll see. I hope we can. I hope we can. If we win our last five, including a win over Aberdeen, which is a big six-pointer, then that, sh I think, might be, it might be enough, but you don't know. The way Aberdeen's playing, 
there's no guarantee that they'll lose games. They could easily turn up and beat Rangers. They could easily turn up and um, you know beat Celtic. So we'll we'll simulate the next four games. I think the last game is against Hibernian. I mean, what a game that would have been. Would have loved to have been in a position to play that. Um, but here we go. Aberdeen, can we beat them? We did. We beat them 1-0. Maybe that gives us a chance. Gives us a small chance. But we're going to need results here against Celtic and Livingston to have any hopes, really. And will Celtic end our hopes? We drew 2-2 against Celtic. So, I mean, we're, we're getting some really good results here since we started simulating this bad boy. Uh, Livy up next, a 3-1 win against Livy. So there you go, that's more points on the board. And unfortunately, it's not enough though. One game remaining, we got the gap down before. Unfortunately though, we beat Hibernian last match. You can't even get four points, no matter how badly you beat a team. The maximum you can get is three, so... I'm sorry to say that, yeah, we ain't going to... We ain't going to be catching Aberdeen, so... It's going to be a fifth play, a fourth place finish. Can we end it in style though? Last game of the season, we do. 2-0 win over Hibernian, keeping a clean sheet. I am happy enough with that, guys. Uh, impressive victory there. I mean, the lads have done really well. Ever since we started simulating these games, I don't even think we've lost a match. So, if we could have just had that form when I was playing them, what a position we would have been in. We would have been challenging Celtic Rangers at the top of the table. No doubt in my mind but if that's the season over then we're going to have a quick look at the league table we're going to have a quick look at the top goal scorers and the top assisters and we'll just compare the four seasons that we played I think this would be our best season especially with all these games of seven towards the end yet uh, the, the amount of points our points tally for this season should dwarf what we've done it's our highest finish as well so I would expect it to I think last season we finished fifth but we, I don't even think we got the 60 point barrier so we'll finish this season on 68, just one point behind Aberdeen. If we can... What can we check? Right, we didn't do well in the cup, we know that. We'll check the top goal scorers, player stats. How exactly did we do in that? Ellis Sims then was the top goal scorer. 23 goals in 36 matches. Really good for him. Lyndon Dykes was our second highest. He had 10 goals in 30 matches. Not as good, to be honest. Dykes averaging one goal every three games compared to Sims, who's averaging about about two in every three so yeah Sims uh, definitely with a better average there did we get anyone else in the top uh, we got Barry Mackay 20th in the standings with nine goals out of 26 games not bad at all and that's that's pretty much it in terms of assists Cammy Devlin led the way nine assists in 33 games with Barry Mackay seven assists in 26 games surprisingly Barry Mackay didn't play that many games for us I don't know if he got injured towards the end of the season that's the only thing I can think because 26 matches just doesn't seem that many. I feel, I feel like we definitely, like um, Ginelli, played more games than Barry Mackay, according to this here, and that, that just doesn't seem right to me. So I'm going to assume that Barry Mackay got injured, or maybe when we just started simulating, maybe they didn't really like Barry Mackay. Maybe he wasn't in favour. But let's finally check my career. Let's see how we did then over the four seasons. So overall, we had the one club, we know that biggest win, 5-1 victory over Livingston. Um, our biggest defeat though was a 7-0 against Celtic. Both of them came in the opening season. So that's a bit strange, I mean it, it tells me that we got, I think getting your worst defeat in the opening season makes sense because you're just starting off. It was in August, I think that was our second ever game. It might have been our first game actually. That may have August 2022. That could have been the first game of the season. Because our opening game was against Celtic. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure if you go back and watch it, guys. Episode 2, I think we lost to Celtic 7-0. That doesn't surprise me. Because it's the start of the game. You'd expect it not be that good. But what does surprise me is our biggest win also came in the opening season. You kind of thought that would have came later on when the, the team was getting better. We were getting better. You know, we were getting used to the game a bit more. But it, it wasn't to be, so that's what it is. Record transfer fee was four million. Total earnings five point one million. According to this, we're rich, man. We can just retire for life. We played one hundred and sixty-four games. We uh, won sixty-four, drew thirty-five, and lost sixty-five. So only one more loss than win. It's not great when you lose more games than you win, but like I said, not much in it. Just the one. Scored two hundred eighty-six goals. Conceded three hundred and forty goals. Though conceding way too many goals there and that is why we struggled to win anything until so let's have a quick look then at the season season 
season one uh you can see where did we finish i can't remember where we finished we finished and it doesn't even tell you it just tells you many oh finished ninth okay so season one we finished ninth what did we finish in season two we finished ninth so there was no improvement <laughs> really from from season one to season two which is a little bit disappointing we would have thought we could have at least moved up a little bit uh, we actually got this exact same amount of wins and draws and losses in, in season one as we did season two which is pretty insane the only difference is we actually got a lot worse in terms of goal difference in season one our goal difference ended up minus 10 whereas in season two our goal difference was minus 35 so we we took a massive massive decline in season two uh, then move into season three we finished fifth it got us into europe we all know how that happened um it was an okay journey <laughs> i wish it could have went a wee bit better but i mean not too bad come on we, we got to get some european football and that's a fifth place finish and then in the last season last but certainly not least like i said we enjoyed some europa league conference we beat dundalk to qualify we had a win over i think it was malmo in sweden it was a pretty good win and it was our highest finish in the league fourth so I mean, overall, guys, is it a success? No, definitely not. I mean, four seasons, and the best we've done was fourth in the league. Didn't win any silverware. Only qualified for Europe once. Finished last in our European group. So, it obviously, it wasn't a success. Not claiming it was a success. But I think there was definitely signs that throughout the career we were getting a little bit better. Um, you know, in terms of league position anyway. So, who knows? Hopefully, if we keep that trend going. In FIFA 23, I plan on going 10 seasons. And if we go at this rate, if we if we have a slow incline, then who knows? Maybe by the end of the FIFA 23 career mode, we will be league champions. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. So like I said, make sure you check that out. FIFA 23 is on the channel. This is it for FIFA 22, the finale, episode 84. We finished fourth. Our best season to date, and it's our last season to date. So thanks for everybody who watched. Leave a like, leave a subscription, comment down below. I will catch you on the next one, which obviously will be the next one in FIFA 23, because like I say, this one's gone, this one's deed, this one's done, finished. Finito. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace.